This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house and behind me here you see the BMW i4 M50. I will today do a Sunday driving, also known as uh, uh, OnlyFans run. But today is going to be quite hot, so we'll see how the OnlyFans runs works Yeah, in hot weather. Plus that this car actually doesn't have the latest software where I can only run the fan, so it has to be in that uh, eco mode, whatever. So I charged the car to 100%. Well, it's actually charging it back to 100%. It's probably at 99.9% .9 now. So we did all the preparations, and I can show you, by the way, that we have Hong Kong 245 40 19. So 19-inch wheels. Voila. Man, I love this interior. I Listen to this. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, it's actually charging it back to 100%. Okay, so I need to charge for six more minutes. I want to start with 100%, 12.14. It's, wait, where's the time? 12, uh, I see here. So the plan today is to drive, maybe change the ND filter a bit, is to drive from Oslo. <coughs> I have indication that this car is thirstier than the, the rear wheel drive. So I will take the highway four. I like it because it's slow. And here we might hit some rain. So I will actually choose the route to avoid rain. And the plan is to go via the mountain again. What's it called again? Um, uh, I don't remember right now. Yes, but here, here, here. Uh, Rondane over here. And then over to Österan. But then actually, here in the evening, we will hit some massive rain. So we'll just try to draft behind some, some, some camp or something. But uh, yes, that's the, the thing with only fans is that we can never get the guaranteed the best weather. So, uh, or I'll see, maybe I'll take this route to avoid some of the rain, but uh, yes, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll just have to figure it out once we start driving, how far we can drive and how, what the consumption be. I'm going to reset everything soon, but uh, we just have to wait a little bit, five more minutes, because I want to make sure we have 100% before we start. And okay, by the way, let me see, can I change some uh, settings here? I'm going to be using Eco Pro now. So with Eco Pro, it should have the most efficient, uh, well, I found out that actually, uh, if you use Sport or Comfort or Eco, you use the exact same energy for propulsion. Uh, but of course, if, if you're in Sport Boost or Sport Individual, I have enabled Boost, and you actually use the power, then of course you will be thirsty than, for example, having in Comfort where you have reduced power. But for just normal driving, then you could use either one and it will be just fine. So that actually, that's why I use Sport, because Sport Individual, which enables Boost, because then I have all the power available in case I need to humiliate some fossils. We are now at the Lygnasete. I didn't drive too far, but I was hungry. And I want to cut down on the stops here uh, on this drive, because I figured that most people, they don't watch it anyway. But I'm gonna show you guys the awesome color. I have to put it in the shade. I went to the gas station and I bought some, uh, let me see, some food. There's a quick food. I will be eating it as I drive because I have to get back home and take care of my baby. So yes, uh, we parked the car. I don't want to touch anything yet. I'm going to show you guys something soon. So yeah, if you're in a rush, then you don't have time for burger. Just go for a big fat wurst like this. This is the Norwegian wurst. You see, man, it's so big. Oh. Mm. oh shit. I chewed on it and it spilled some juices on the car. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Ah. <sighs> Sausage juice all over the BMW. This is a press car. Okay, let me clean up this mess here. Oh shit.
we just passed BD now and um, yes the consumption is 140 watt hour per kilometer I expected the consumption to be 20 watt hour per kilometer higher than the railway drive and the railway drive managed to average 120 for the whole uh, only fans run so yes we are now uh, in the 80 zone we're driving at 80 I think the real speed is around 76 only with this car but we have tailwind by the way look at Mjosa here we have tailwind so um, it's going to be interesting outside now is 25.5 degrees Celsius it's not too hot but also not too cold and then unfortunately this car does not have only fans mode uh, it will come in a later version I heard but now there is no way to switch off AC so we just have to keep it like this but I I did set the temperature fairly high 23 degrees so that the AC doesn't have to work too hard and you see I have my Schwartz with me and I have my um, stone bag bottle with some cold drinks with ice cubes in here so I can stay cool yeah I'm gonna stay cool and try to save energy that's what we're gonna try to do and yeah let's see but the prediction now is roughly 560 not 570 kilometers oh, some poles are just having me look, 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 look. we have voice control here what is the current elevation, Peter Schoen? We are currently at an altitude of 178.000000. <laughs> what is the current tire pressure? The current pressure is all right for all tires. Do you also want some information about the tire temperature? Yeah. Say yes to proceed. Say no to cancel. Yes. The front left and front right tire temperatures are 34 degrees Celsius and 33 degrees Celsius. The rear left and rear right are 34 degrees Celsius and 33 degrees Celsius. <laughs> awesome, man. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Could you repeat that? Oh, okay, you're not fun. Please try again or say help. We are now at Tretten and there is a slight detour here because there's a bridge here that collapsed recently. So let's see, we just follow, uh, wait, are we supposed to go? No, we go, okay, this one, this one, this one, okay. Wait, this isn't, okay, there's is a bit of stau there, I see. Uh, so this is not ideal for energy consumption, I guess, because we are being stationary. And then I can see on the display that when, once we are stationary, then this car for some reason pulls one kilowatt hour per hour. That's kind of high. A Tesla would be pulling only 500 watts. So, um, hmm, okay, here, wait, 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 what's this? Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, so the exit one went quite smooth, but here, what, what, what's up with this one? Why are we slow here? Is it because people want to exit for the gas station? Or, huh, what? Oh, wait, don't tell me that they're stopping to look at the bridge they are they are what are you serious they stop here it's <laughs> jesus man the the stau is here because people want to look at the the collapsed bridge i'm gonna show you guys i need to pull out the other camera yeah there's even uh some some um some people with uh shooting a time lapse here yeah they just want to look at the bridge because there's a truck and shit that went down there Oh no, this is, it's not, it's a news, yeah, oh, whoa, 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 damn, damn, but, wow, so the Stau is because <laughs> it's the, they call it the watch Stau, you know, uh, it's slow because people are looking, <laughs> okay, but we are moving at least, okay, we're moving, all right, all right, all right, um, 
it's not too bad okay and don't worry because uh, this car this BMW is really smooth when it comes to uh, Stau traffic you know it, it was made in Stauland yeah and Germany invented Stau so this is so smooth and nice stop and go traffic well it's not even stop and go it's just go just kind of slow now in Österdal and uh, yes this is the final uh, stretch of the test so I'm down to 41% wow it's 23.5 degrees not too hot over here and uh, see we have 198 kilometers back home and then GOM says we have 215 kilometers so far so good right except for that I look at the weather forecast I chose this route specifically to avoid most of the rain this value here has rain today and the rain is coming here the rain is already around Oslo right now so just in maybe half an hour we will hit some massive rain and it's going to be worse and worse and worse so we should at least enjoy the nice low consumption now 141 I predicted 140 I predicted 20 higher than the rear wheel drive so we'll see uh, we are now on well I can ask what is the current elevation We are currently at an altitude of 254.000000. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we have a little bit of downhill advantage until the rain hits us. Then I better find some campers to uh, draft behind. now at Espa and as advertised it's going to rain cats and dogs there and it will intensify the closer to Oslo we get so let me document that the consumption was 140 watt hour per kilometer so if you care this is the consumption we probably would have had <laughs> all the way back to Oslo maybe a little bit lower because we have to go a little bit downhill but it's going to go up now so it will be interesting to see how much up it goes but we have roughly 100 kilometers of range left you can see the stats here, 22% left. It's kind of, oh, I can almost turn off HVAC now. Well, maybe I should lower this one a bit, otherwise it will start heating up the cabin. So yes, uh, it's not optimal, but uh, remember that uh, in the Skoda Enya Coupe Sunday driving, we also had wet road for uh, a significant time. And also some other cars, I don't remember. Yeah, so let's enjoy the rain then, and the self-cleaning window. Ah, ah, it's not raining all the way. Here it's been dry for a little bit. And the consumption is now 139 watt hour per kilometer. Oh yeah. And of course, you see, every trick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Red court, red court. Okay, he might be allowed to drive that one if he has the tempo 100. But I've been driving behind this truck now. Whoa. Wow, that's kind of, that's kind of noisy, man, in a tunnel. Huh. I mean, the soundproofing in this car is in general like, quite good, but maybe in tunnels, maybe not that good. But of course, the truck makes a lot of noise. But yeah, I'm drafting behind the truck. I'm going kind of slow, but I'm allowed to do this. I've been doing this with uh, the Mach E also. Wait, are we gonna beat? Are we gonna beat the Skoda Enyaq? Well, they, that's a bigger car. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, look at this we have no headwind so when we were driving you see we are heading south and when we were driving north earlier today we had the tailwind advantage but on the way back we don't have the headwind disadvantage huh 
So don't tell me that we have bad driving condition today because we ha actually have really good driving condition and 23.5. So yes, of course we can't run um, um, only fans, but uh, we are running at really low load anyway on the temperature. I'm on the yeah, you see by the way, the outside temperature is 23.5, and then I set the in inside to be semi high so that the AC does not work too hard. We are back in Oslo now and it's raining cats and dogs here. Wow, but I still have 57 kilometers on gum left. I don't know if you guys can hear me through the rain, but I'm going to go here, ring three, because there are some tunnels here. So we can avoid the rain at least. And we still need to drive it down. I have 9% left. We have to drive it down to at least 2%, maybe one, we'll see, to get the most accurate uh, measurement. We are now uh, near Smestad, this is the ring three, and we have 7% left, 42 kilometers. I, I calculated that I, need, I can at least drive roughly 30 more kilometers until I'm down to around 2%. But you see, I've been driving on the tunnel routes. Some places are just massively wet, but over here, not too bad. So yes, we chose the right place where we have less wetness. And uh, the consumption is 137. It's, it keeps dropping and dropping now towards the very end despite having some wet roads. And you see, I can even turn off HVAC now. So we have no fans. It's always better than only fans. We are back at Olebru. And now we have roughly 80% 80, 80 power limit. You see it there. This time it's not overheating. So this is actually battery power limit. 2% left, 13 kilometers on GOM. And I am now eight kilometers away, but we have mostly downhill. So. It's time to bail out. <laughs> still 576 kilometers. Wow, still going strong, this beaver. Well, just as I said it now, turtle mode is here. Now we see yellow there. Yeah, turtle mode. Okay, <laughs> let's get back home. We are finally back home. So this is it. It did 585 kilometers, uh, but with seven kilometers left on GOM and 1%, uh, is that 660, well, roughly 662 kilometers? No, 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 my bad, my bad. Five, 592 kilometers then, quick math. Wow, really impressive. But you see, it is higher than the, um, um, it is higher than the rear wheel drive. And today was near perfect driving condition. We had, nice weather wait can we see the temperature there 20 degrees over here yeah we had perfect driving condition we had tailwind on the way north we had not too much headwind on the way south we could draft it behind the truck you know <laughs> so it is near perfect driving condition today at least there's a fat eater by my, my neighbor so um yeah what should i say let's go outside i need to plug it in oh yeah, yeah i can show you guys yeah let me show you this you see, you, you take this one, open the charge port, which is on the right side, which is the wrong side, should have been left side, which is the right side. And then my new stuff is that I now have an, oh, a freaking neighbor's dog. I have easy box here. And this one, and with a Met Metron cable, 32 amp single phase Metron cable, and long, uh, is this a 10 or 15 meter cable? So it's, it's load balanced. So I then get 28 amp, which is uh, 6.4 kilowatt in front of the house. But on permanent basis, I'll be charging in the garage. This one is just ad hoc. Yes. So look at this, look at this car. Man, I love the color. This is the best color ever. It, it matches the, the BMW laser light here. Oh yeah, huh? Do you like this shit? Do you like this shit? I love it, man. I love the looks. So now I should summarize. This is really efficient. It's not as efficient as Tesla Model 3 Performance, but I think Model 3 Performance should be close because Model 3 Performance <laughs> cannot use 18 inch wheels that the long range use. So it needs to use 20 or 19 inch and then it will be less efficient. So I suspect that the Model 3 performance should also be 130 something watt hour per kilometer. Maybe 125, I don't know, I haven't tested it. Uh, but this one though, 544 horsepower, but still goes almost 600 kilometers, not as good as the railroad drive. So based on my test now, the range test, the 1000 kilometer challenge, and this test shows that 
the M50, the all-wheel drive, is thirstier than the rear-wheel drive. So there you guys have it, the conclusion. If you want the most efficient car, you have to go for the rear-wheel drive. But with this one, okay, you take a small penalty. It's not that bad compared to some other cars, I feel like. Like the um, uh, Polestar, for example. Uh, Polestar or Volvo or uh, Mustang Mach-E feel like the, the all-wheel drive penalty on those cars are greater. But yes, so now you guys have it. The only fan run with this car. Yeah, do I like it? I like the car a lot. It's comfortable. It has good uh, suspension, comfortable suspension over the rough asphalt today. Um, the sound, the sound uh, proofing is good. The, um, the Harman Kardon is awesome. The space is minus though. Uh, but other than that, it's a great car, except for that it tends to rapid gate, but not big problem <laughs> in Norway anyway. So that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.